from Madison Square Garden, New York City, 10-round middleweight bout, from New York City at 154 pounds, Billy Graham, versus from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, at 157 and a half pounds, Joey Giardolo. And from a neutral corner, your host, the undefeated world's heavyweight champion, Rocky Marciano. And my guest for this evening is Jack Cotter, a comedian who puts on more mileage in his act than, uh, than most fighters do. Oh, Rock, I'm so glad you didn't say Jack Cotter. <laughs> I thought you were going to give it the New England Cotter. Hiya, Rocky. What are we going to get, a dollar or a dollar and a half for this pack? Pack your Karen Vaston with Rocky Marciano. <laughs> puts on mileage. Jack, oh. in great shape. Oh, I'm a great. I could have taken you in three jokes in the I old days. So. Rock, I, oh, I broke the whole. <laughs> Jack, you're from Brooklyn, the the place where a lot of fighters come out of them, a lot of great yeah, fighters. Yeah, well, you had to fight for your life there, you know, in the streets. Uh, <laughs> Ma, they got me. I'm bleeding them down. Come in, eat fights, then we'll talk. You know, the good old days. I always had that uh, bit, though. I always wanted to be in show business, you know. And my mother always gave me, no, nah, A.B. next door is a good boy. You'll be a bum, you want to be an actor. A.B. is a good boy. You know, there's always a kid that's better than you know. A.B., A.B., I thought that was his name, A.B. good boy. I always wonder what happened to him. So I went back to Coney Island, Brighton Beach, the other day, you know, and I found his house where A.B. lived, and I, and I knocked on the door, and his mother came out. I said, hello, Mrs. Rellis. You see, he uh, out the window with the fellas all with Mitre Incorporated. <laughs> All the comedians I ever met are in pretty good shape. I mean, uh, there aren't too many fat ones except the guys like uh, Fats Leonard and General Mostel. But tell me, what, what do you guys do for sports? Um, I notice you're all pretty good shape. Uh, well, you just keep chasing your agent all the time. Is, is you know? right? What do you got for me now? Where's the money? Get it up. Well, I move a lot anyhow. I work like a fighter. Yeah. In fact, a columnist who shall be nameless, but Ed Sullivan, <laughs> just the other day, he, he wrote me up in Miami. He said, uh, Jack is like a fighter on stage. He spars with an audience. He faints. Then when he looks like he's lost to me, jabs him again. Then he'll change his style. Then he'll put this in, and finally it's a knockout, you know. Jack, I followed uh, Ed Sullivan's program all the time, and I think you're one of the few guys, in fact, maybe the only guy that can break this guy up, make him laugh a little bit. Oh, Ed, yeah. Ed. Well, I get right to his car, and there is none, you know. <laughs> Jack, you've been working alone a long time. You yes. Know, uh, uh, did you ever think about a, a straight man, you know, some some guy that might be able to uh, stand up there with you and, you know, kind of bounce some jokes off of him, you know? There's a lot of guys like us around who could use the, the, the job. <laughs> Gee, Rocky, I, I didn't know you cared. <laughs> we could work something out. Let's see, uh, let's see, rock with Jack. Jack will rock. You know, uh, Marciano and friend. Something like billing like that you haven't I like that very much. Yeah, yeah, that'll be all right. If I don't do well, so when I'm out, I get you. A lot of you guys were in show business. Tony Canzanari worked with uh, Mark Plant and Joey Adams. Maxie Rosenblum? Uh, well, well, you know, I started more guys doing an act with that. I was the first one to do to do Maxie. I squat to Maxie Rosenblum but years ago when he first did the Aquabax Bear. And Barry used to kind of talk like this, oh, Maxie, you're a moron, you're an idiot. He says, oh, stand up, Maxie, nobody will recognize you. <laughs> How'd you get like that fighting? How'd you get like that betting on you? <laughs> but I used to do the song that Maxie used to do. I have a super special genius with a little future brain. Make my losses playing horses, I seldom show again. Each time the bell starts ringing, I start swinging like a gate. Although I got ten fingers, I can only count to eight. Slapsy Maxie. How did he get that? Was that really slapping? Yeah, he was a... Uh a good boxer, and in the olden days, they say he used to he, slap you with an open yeah, club. he was never, never knocked, knocked out, out, was he? No, himself. he never knocked too many guys out either. Yeah. But didn't Rosenblum go out a winner? I mean, yes, I he won he... the title, and uh, no, he I think he retired like you did, but no, 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 he lost. He lost? He lost the fight. Oh, oh that's what happened. <laughs> I thought I forget the uh, whole, uh, I got a very symmetrical mind, you know how it is. <laughs> <laughs> yes. There's the bell for the main event. A strange event for the first time in the history of boxing, the New York Boxing Commission had to reverse the decision. Later on, it was reversed again by the courts in this middleweight bout between Billy Graham and Joey Giardello. See how you would score this 10-rounder. Madison Square Garden, December 19, 1952. Let me tell you about it as I saw it. With the middleweight title open, both Graham and Giardello could get a big shot at it. Here's Graham's manager, Irv Cohen, trainer Whitey Bimstein. He lost a split decision to Giardello a couple of months ago. Giardello is on the left. Graham in black, Giardello in white. This is a must fight for Graham.
He's 30, and he blew two chances at the welterweight title. He can't afford any setbacks. Big right. Referee Miller breaks them. Miller warns Joey about Buddy. That head can do more with one shake than your best punch. Giardello is only 22. He's a tough kid from South Philadelphia with a real good punch. His trouble is that he'll use it outside the ring just as quick as he will inside. But he'll get over that. He's still young and not a bad guy. Graham, 149. Giardello, 151. Not much difference there, but there's a world of experience on Graham's side. Graham is an old-fashioned fighter. It's strictly business with him. You see him around the house with his wife and kids. He looks like any guy in the neighborhood who works at a job. He's always in shape, never in trouble, just a pro. Graham in black trunks comes right out for round two. He got an edge on you the last round, Billy. Stay on him. Graham does things you don't see anymore. He moves the other guy into his punches by faking them. His head is always bobbing, or he'll drop that shoulder on you. Anything to move where he wants you. Nobody does it anymore. There's his jab. Billy never misses a jab. He sets it up with those head fakes. Giardello is cocky. Before the fight, he says, Graham, what do I care about Graham? You could have him. Here's Graham going to the corner. This isn't going to be an easy one, Billy. Good Giardello right. The last time they fought, Joey got Billy into a scramble and won the decision. But Graham isn't callous tonight. He's pulling out all the stops. He won't lead to Giardello. He wants Joey to open up and do the missing. Joey's complaining about a low punch. Look at Graham pound that right to the side. You've got to lock the arm, Joey, or he'll do it to you all night. That's his game. This is an awful fast pace, but I don't think anybody's going to get too tired later on. Only an amateur would come in out of shape for a fight like this. <laughs> it 
to talk to Billy in the corner. With a guy like this, you try and spot something that might work against Giardello. Then tell him about it. Anything else is wasted words. This guy knows his business. Joey stands straight up. He doesn't crouch at all. Watch the right. He likes to bring it up on you when you come in. Good right, Joey. Graham circles away from Giardello's hooks. Usually you move in the opposite direction, but Billy thinks the hook is Giardello's big weapon, so he is moving away from it. Get off the ropes, Joey. He's too smart for you there. Don't let him get you anywhere near them. Now stay in the middle and punch. Don't go back. This is a tough fight. Somebody's gonna lose a lot here tonight, but right now, you can't tell who. Joey Giardello in white trunks, Billy Graham in black. It's been a fast pace, but you'll notice Billy, eight years older, isn't trying to slow it down. His game, speed. A fast fight doesn't worry him. Billy blocked that hook right. Then he steps in behind the jab to back Joey up. He doesn't flick the hand out. This guy is right out of an old-fashioned lesson in how to fight. Joey come in here tonight a two to one underdog in the betting, but he wasn't worried about that. He sat in the dressing room, talked about the Dodgers pitching staff for next year. That's the biggest worry of his life, a real fan. Joey is holding off Graham's right on the inside. A lot better now. They don't have a deep breath in them. It's a beautiful feeling to be in condition like this. You're glad for every morning you got up to do road work.
here they are, still fighting for a chance to try for the middleweight title and all the money that goes with it. Graham doesn't just flick that left out and hope it lands. He nods that head and fakes Giardello in, then snaps it into his face. Joey has been making a smart fight. He hasn't let Graham abuse him inside. He's been staying at that distance and using those fast hands of his. This fight is going right down to the final wire. Sometimes you'll find Billy dropping that left hand after he jabs with it. But he's so fast, it's hard to take advantage of it. Both of them have their right hands high and close to their sides, the way they should. They're not callous and carrying it low or wide, the way too many fighters do in the late rounds. Billy has that right hand free. You got to really lock up this guy inside, Joey. What are you getting callous with him for? That's more like it. That's Billy trying a right. He's in black, Giardello in white. Joey, you let him get that right hand loose again. There you go again. Will you tie this guy up or are you gonna blow the fight right here? There, finally. Billy keeps coming in behind that left hand. He can't let up. This fight is too close. Joey goes to the corner for the last time. He knows better than they do what's coming up. He's got the fighters hot out in the tent. Here they go. Both corners told them they were behind, so they'd come out fighting, hopped up for the last round.
You got him where you can do the most damage, Bill. This kid doesn't know too much about fighting on the inside. Give it to him now. That's the way to pile up points. That's it, and this is gonna be a murderous decision to make. I think Graham pulled it out. Let's see. No, they give it to Giardello. But something's happening at ringside. Commissioner Kristen Berry is talking about changing the decision. That's just what he's doing. He's gonna give it to Graham. Jack, in this fight, uh, Billy Graham was just a little bit past his prime, but he put up such a great fight. He was so good in this fight that he held Giardello right even. It was a close, close fight. Could have been called a draw. They gave it to Giardello, then they reversed it and gave it to Graham. Yeah. Then the courts reversed it. It was really a mixed up thing, but a real great fight to watch. Just can't make up their minds, right? Well, who finally won it at the end now? Uh, uh, Giardello. Giardello. Oh, well, good, because I know I got money somewhere. <laughs> Jack, there's no doubt about you being a main eventer. To see you work, anyone can tell. You know enough to keep punching. This little memento, a pair of golden gloves, is just a little reminder to you to keep punching always, to stay a main eventer. For me? Oh, from Rocky Marciano, keep punching. You think they'll hang this up in my niche at Danny's hideaway? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, uh, well, it was great being here with you, Rock. And all I can say is one thing, you'll never have to make a comeback. You never left. <laughs> sure enjoyed it. The bigger they are, the nicer they are. And you can...